Today we'll talk about magnet mode. So check out our mouse over here at the bottom left. You can see the pop-up just uh, showed up on the screen. This is the magnet. And if you click this arrow, you have a weak magnet and a strong magnet. Well, why would you use the magnet tool? That is a great question. And when you turn the magnet mode on, you'll actually get this pop-up. It says drawing anchors will be snapped to the closest OHLC value. OHLC, what does that mean? OHLC means open, high, low, and close. So magnet mode will snap your drawings to the nearest open, high, lower, close on the chart. And that is exactly what will happen. Check it out. So we have magnet mode selected. Now we're going to click trend line and watch the way our trend line draws. So you can see how it's already snapping. Do you see that? It's snapping to the nearest open, high, low, or close of this bar. Well, let's click here, the low. And now watch our trend line even as it's being placed. It is working to the open, high, low, or close of each candle. Click and it will be placed. So why is that so important? Why would you want to have this magnet mode on? The reason why you want magnet mode on is very simple. It is so that you can eliminate any error whatsoever of drawing on your chart or connecting two points on your chart. So as you can see, it's snapping right to that value each time. This snap is accurate, fast, and it's going to allow you to draw really precisely on your chart. And as you can see, you can drag it over any point on the bar and it will instantly snap to it. Now, watch what happens when we turn magnet mode off. So magnet mode is off. Now we're going to select this trend line. We're gonna do the same exact thing, but with magnet mode off, and look at the difference, right? It's a freer drawing now. It's not snapping to any value. And we can place it anywhere. It's fast, fluid. It's one way to draw trend lines. However, it won't be as precise as with magnet mode on because magnet mode will do the heavy lifting for you. If you have strong magnet mode on especially, it will connect your trend lines to the nearest open, high, low, or close and it will make sure that the price points are touching the drawing. And in fact, as an example, actually we'll turn it off one really quick just to zoom in a little more. Look how even the line that we drew here actually technically isn't even touching to the exact point. If you really look closely, there's a small space between the wick, this red wick, and this line, this trend line, really small space. Magnet mode's not on. We are, we are essentially drawing with a free hand. And as you know, if you're drawing with a free hand, sometimes you can make more errors. Now, there's nothing wrong with this style of drawing. In fact, some people prefer it because it's faster, it's more fluid, it moves right to your mouse. But if you really do want to draw two precise points and always connect your drawings to an exact open, high, low, or close, you can select weak magnet, or strong magnet and let's select strong in this instance just to really demonstrate it one more time how it works click our trend line watch the difference snaps right to that line and look at it just get you know ma almost it's, it's literally being magnetized to these exact price levels see how quickly it's snapping and if we wanted to drag it we could and then we could click wherever we believe is the most important point on the chart for this trend line so if you think it's this low here, it snaps right to it. We click and look at that. It is touching precisely in each drawing compared to the freehand drawing where we had these little spaces for error. And then when you use magnet mode to connect these points, watch this, double click, extend line left, extend line right. And now you have drawn a trend line that touches the exact points and extends all the way across the chart with with these two points touching perfectly. So that is magnet mode. And that is how you can draw the most precise trend lines. And keep in mind, magnet mode works for all of these drawing tools. And it has its different advantages or disadvantages for each tool. For example, we will actually delete this. And why don't we go to a different asset? 
it's always great to show how these drawings work for all asset classes that are available in the search box here. So you can turn on magnet mode and then say select a horizontal line and look at how our mouse is already snapping to each open high lower close. So why don't we have it snap perfectly to this level here, click, and now the trend line is snapped perfectly to the chart. It's touching this level here, drawing straight across. And interesting enough, as you can see, check it out. Maybe there is some resistance here to keep our eyes on. Now, of course, you could draw your horizontal line without magnet mode. So, you know, we will delete this. But it's just like the trend line tool or any of these tools when you're drawing with them. When magnet mode is turned off, keep in mind you are doing a freehand drawing. So it's going to be precise, it's going to be you to your look and feel, but you have to click perfectly to get it. Whereas, when you have magnet mode tur turned on, select the drawing tool, and it will snap right to that nearest value. So you can then click, and it's drawn perfectly. Now, one more quick thing before we wrap up this video is the difference between weak magnet and strong magnet. It's just as you would expect, the strong magnet snaps much faster and it is just more, you know, it's just going to move quicker, be more, uh, it's, it's going to be a faster connection, whereas the weak magnet will let you have a little bit more of a free hand. And when you have the strong magnet turned on, it's going to make sure it covers every open high, lower close. So two different magnet modes and take advantage of both of them. As always, the key is this, get in there and start to test them. So take them for a test drive and see if you like magnet mode. If it helps you draw better lines as we showed here, or if we had a trend line, so we could make sure we cl click this low and connect it here and then click and then extend the line right out into the future. So if it helps you draw better lines like this, perfect. Take advantage of it. Just click this magnet icon right here. And of course, you can learn more by clicking this button as well. So learn more will open up the help template. And now you can see uh, each of the well, just a little more details about magnet mode as well as uh, the shortcut here. So there is also a hotkey or a keyboard shortcut to using magnet mode as well. OK, thank you for watching. Leave any questions or comments below. And our team reads your comments and your feedback. So. Please tell us what you think, what we're missing, what we should dive into more, and we'll make that video for you.